Gaming Bolt presents the top 30 new games of E3 2018. We know about all the big titles announced beforehand that made E3 2018 so fun to watch. However, there were plenty of new titles, including announcement to sequels, that caused us to celebrate new IPs and the return of classic franchises. Well, except for games like Splinter Cell, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and so on that didn't appear. Anyway, let's take a look at the top 30 new games of E3 2018. Please note that we're only listing games that were announced only during E3 2018, so please keep this in mind. Control Remedy Entertainment's newest project immediately caught our attention with its surreal premise, reality-bending levels and supernatural powers. Playing as Jesse, director of the Bureau of Control, the goal is to stop an enemy called Hiss from tearing apart HQ, aka the oldest house. Along with incorporating a more sandbox-style world, Control will also incorporate Metroidvania aspects of exploration. Finding abilities will open up new paths, along with more ways to maul enemies. Neo 2 It seemed like a long shot, especially given how long it took to develop the first game. However, Team Ninja actually announced Neo 2. Many things have changed. William Adams isn't returning. There will be a character creator to customize one's avatar, and yokai powers are now a thing. While the development team will improve on things it was unhappy with in the first game, the Master Core difficulty will still very much be present. Overcooked 2 Thinking with portals? How about thinking with portals while cooking as a hot air balloon smashes into your restaurant? Overcooked 2 brings back the joy of cooking with friends, until everything goes wrong and you need new friends. Throwing ingredients, transforming levels, tons of shenanigans, the game will have all these things and more. Overcooked 2 is out on August the 7th for all platforms, including Nintendo Switch. Just Cause 4 Rico Rodriguez is back and contending with some seriously extreme weather in Just Cause 4. Fighting his most intelligent foes yet in the largest world that Avalanche has created, the game introduces hazards like tornadoes. Not only can they completely tear apart environments, but they can lift airplanes and other vehicles up in their winds. Dust storms and blizzards must also be contended with, but Rico will have new gadgets like airlifters and booster rockets to make it happen. Just Cause 4 is out on December 4th for Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Babylon's Fall Coming out of nowhere at Square Enix's E3 presser was Platinum Games' Babylon's Fall. Set during a dark time and featuring armored beings with mystical powers fighting, the only thing we really know is that it will be out in 2019 for PS4 and Steam. That's certainly one way to get our interest rolling. Trials Rising Trials Rising will also be out in 2019, but in February, instead for Xbox One, PS4 and PC, and Nintendo Switch. Along with the series' signature difficult courses and zany stunts, there will also be the new tandem bike as two players ride a single dirt bike. Locations this time include metropolitan cities, Egypt and other scenarios that look highly entertaining. If nothing else, this is a huge step up after the disappointing Trials of the Blood Dragon. Super Mario Party If Overcooked 2 isn't enough to ruin your friendships, then Super Mario Party should pull that off. New minigames abound, as four players can join together with two switches that can be connected for multi-screen environments. Joy-Con-focused minigames are to be expected, along with new characters like Bowser Jr. and Diddy Kong. Overall, though, Collecting stars and trying to keep them is the name of the game. Super Mario Party is out on October the 5th for Nintendo Switch. Overwhelm With little animation and trapped in a world with horrifying creatures, Overwhelm takes the survival horror genre into a 2D side-scrolling format. Enemies get stronger as more bosses are defeated, and you only have three lives for every single run. Play tactfully, and try not to die could best summarize the gameplay in Overwhelm. It's currently available for PC via Steam. Derecine 
From Software didn't bring us Bloodborne 2 this year, instead announcing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and a remaster of Metal Wolf Chaos. Deracine, however, is a completely new showing for VR. It follows a spirit that connects with a young girl and attempts to influence the lives of other members of a boarding school. Stopping time and manipulating the environment are only a few things that players will do. Deracine releases in 2018 for PlayStation VR. Vigor Currently exclusive to Xbox One, Bohemia Interactive's Vigor will enter the Xbox Game Preview this summer before releasing fully in February 2019. As a third-person shooter, Vigor accommodates 8 to 16 players in engagements, which translates to finding loot, killing each other, and escaping with a package that falls from the sky. Suffice to say, it's an interesting twist on the Battle Royale genre, but will it be enough to stand out? We'll wait and find out later this summer. Fire Emblem Three Houses it's a new Fire Emblem with gorgeous visuals, large-scale battles, and a brand new story set in the new world of Fodlan. What more could you want? Troops will now be able to support heroes on the battlefield in formations. The main character can also move freely this time and chat with other characters, which is neat. Fire Emblem Three Heroes releases in Spring 2019 for the Nintendo Switch. Demon X Machina Developed by Marvelous Games and produced by Kenichiro Tsukuda, series producer for Armored Core, Demon X Machina was a pleasant surprise at Nintendo's E3 presentation. It sees highly mobile mechs called arsenals going up against even larger armored units. Arsenals can be customized to one's liking, but the action itself is fast and stylish with an awesome aesthetic. Damon X Machina will be heading to Nintendo Switch in 2019. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit Not quite Life is Strange 2, but The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit does promise to be an endearing follow-up. It focuses on Chris, a boy who is somewhat lonely but can imagine fascinating worlds along with himself as a superhero. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit is out on June 26th for Xbox One, PS4 and PC, with numerous secrets linking it to the second game. Best of all, it's free, so pick up your copy later this month. Forza Horizon 4 Playground Games is going bigger than ever with Forza Horizon 4. On top of the same massive open world to explore, this time in Britain, Forza Horizon 4 will also be a shared world title. Up to 72 players can meet and race on a single server, and as the seasons change, new events and races open up and the quality of racing varies. Forza Horizon 4 is out on October 5th for Xbox One and Windows 10 PC, with Xbox One X players having the option of 60 FPS mode. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition one of the best games in the Tales series is finally getting remastered. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition retains the same awesome combat and aesthetic of the first game, but includes high-definition visuals, new mystic arts, and new scenarios and locations for Western players. Releasing in Winter 2018 for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch, it's well worth looking into. Devil May Cry 5 after nearly a decade of waiting, Devil May Cry is finally back. And no, this isn't a reboot or a spin-off as Devil May Cry 5 directly continues the story of the fourth game. Nero is back and hunting demons while searching for the man who stole his demonic arm. Dante returns to cleanse the demonic infestation in Redgrave City. Director Hideaki Itsuno promises this will be the best game he's ever made and it'll be out in Spring 2019 for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Dying Light 2 The fact that Dying Light 2 is coming doesn't surprise us too much. However, Chris Avalone is in charge of narrative design, and thus the game features a greater range of consequences for one's choices. Depending on who you kill or align with, the city changes accordingly. Of course, with a new engine and the same movement possibilities as the first game, Dying Light 2 is already looking amazing en route to its planned 2019 release. Gears 5 
The fifth main Gears title doesn't try to change up too much from the formula, aside from having the largest world created thus far. Forest environments, Arctic environments, and Kate as protagonist are all confirmed along with some new enemies. Regardless, if you're in the mood to swing a swarm mace around and obliterate fools, Gears 5 may be just for you. It releases in 2019 for Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. Doom Eternal Another sequel in a long line of them, Doom Eternal follows up the awesome Doom 2016. No gameplay was showcased, so it's hard to say whether the same level of violence persists. However, with the Doom Slayer venturing across a demon-infested landscape in the trailer, we can be sure of some ripping and tearing occurring. Doom Eternal will be showcased further at this year's QuakeCon. Wolfenstein Youngblood Set in Paris during the 1980s, Wolfenstein Youngblood is more of a spin-off than a direct sequel. There's a heavy co-op focus as BJ Blaschkowitz's twin daughters are playable with their own super suits. Despite the focus on co-op, it's possible to play the game solo, but we've yet to see actual gameplay. Wolfenstein Youngblood is currently slated to release in 2019. The Elder Scrolls VI Announced with nothing more than a title card, The Elder Scrolls VI is indeed real. Where is it set? What's the combat like? Can you play Skyrim in it? No one really knows. The much-requested sequel is in pre-production and will truly come into its own during the next generation. So if you have any hope for the game coming to Xbox One and PS4, then think again. Starfield One title that could be releasing for current-gen consoles is Starfield. Another highly rumoured project, Starfield could also very well be heading to next-gen consoles, but will arrive much sooner than The Elder Scrolls VI. We don't know if all those rumours about space exploration and whatnot still ring true, but Bethesda Game Studios is clearly busy for the next few years. Metal Wolf Chaos XD A remaster of the Xbox classic that never released outside of Japan, Metal Wolf Chaos XD is handled by From Software. It focuses on the US president using a mech suit to take back the country. No, seriously, that's it. The game is renowned for its so bad it's good voice acting, but we're confident that the actual action will be fun too. Metal Wolf Chaos XD is out later this year for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Unravel 2 Announced and released during EA Play 2018, Unravel 2 was one of the biggest highlights from the show. Yarni returns, but this time he's been severed from his loved ones. In need of a spark, he finds another Yarni, and together they venture across numerous levels using platforming and yarn-based physics to progress. For both co-op and solo players, it's worth checking out. Oh, and as a reminder, it's out now. Sea of Solitude the other highlight of EA Play was Sea of Solitude, Joe My Game's third-person romp through a world of monsters. The game itself focuses on a girl who's given into loneliness and become a monster. The ocean has lots of other monsters though, so maybe she can coexist with the darkness inside. Sea of Solitude is out in early 2019 for Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Gears Tactics Gears of War meets XCOM in Gears Tactics, a prequel set 12 years before the first game. Players can customize their squad, partake in crazy turn-based battles, and even fight massive bosses. The real question is, will our squadmates' deaths be permanent throughout the story, thus prompting new recruits to be trained? We don't know when it will release, but Gears Tactics is currently PC-bound. Jump Force at first, it seemed like another Naruto title, but no. Jump Force combines Shunen Jump properties like Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Naruto, and even Death Note into one bombastic fighter. Not only that, but the visuals are similarly over-the-top and big-budget, giving an epic feel to the fights. There will even be 3v3 tag fights, so that's one more game that beats Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite on that trend. Jump Force is out in 2019 for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Session 
everyone watched E3 2018 with the hope that maybe, just maybe, Skate 4 would be announced, but instead they got Session. Which isn't a bad thing, since it's meant to be a spiritual successor to the series. Featuring a fisheye lens similar to Skate, Session will be more open-ended and let players mess about in their own creative ways. Developed on Unreal Engine 4 and exclusive to PC and Xbox One, it should be interesting to see how Session pans out. Ghost Giant Revealed just before EA Play 2018, Ghost Giant is a cute-looking VR title from Zoink Games, developer of Stick It to the Man and Fey. The player takes on the role of a giant who is also a ghost, spoiler by the way, and helps out a boy named Louie. Along with meeting different characters and changing environments, the player will also seek to discover their own identity and how they fit into all of this. Ghost Giant is heading to PlayStation VR, but so far there's been no release date. Halo Infinite Halo is coming back, and with the new Slipspace engine. Things feel significantly different this time, though. Halo Infinite seems larger and more ambitious, with the game engine demo featuring some truly stellar visuals running in 60fps. 343 Industries has indicated a long journey ahead for the game, and for the first time in a while, we're intrigued to see where Halo could go. Let's hope it has a campaign with a decent story and fully featured multiplayer. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.